Hi there, Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, um, before anything else, of course, please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for every Pisces out there. Just keep that in mind. And if you want a personal look, into your specific situation and if you have specific concerns you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com um, and we'll um, do a private consultation with that um, a another thing I want to say is that I do want to apologize to you guys that I did posted your reading late since it's already almost half of January so I'll definitely make it up to you on February by doing f your sign first on Feb and um, yeah I'll make it up to you guys so don't worry about that um, so now let's see what's going on with you guys Pisces and in terms of your love life and relationship and how things are going to be manifesting for you guys as a whole okay let me see what we have over here so we do have the knight of pentacles and the judgment card along with the six of swords and two of cups so you might be planning something i can you feel that maybe a lot of things have been happening in your life maybe you have been experiencing maybe you had experiences in the past which maybe you are reflecting upon you have been reflecting upon because there's a lot of things that you are thinking about we do have the hangman over here with the full card and the tower and the ace of pentacles so that is really a very explosive energy it's like you are feeling a lot of things but you're not doing anything but i kind of feel that it's really more in your head like there's really something that you are thinking about th deeply you want to start something you want to start something i'm getting that energy and maybe it is a connection with someone maybe you want to open some form of chapter like or some form of forward action in terms of a specific relationship but I'm not exactly sure what's going on with you guys I kind of feel that you have the means to connect with this person and if you really take action on it you can improve your relationship with this person but there is just a lot of fears there's a lot of things that are holding you back basically so January might be might feel a bit slow for you guys because there could be some form of delays right there there's definitely something that you are wishing to begin and wishing to start and i do feel that you will come into terms of taking action at the end of the day so you might spend like maybe half of the month or you know almost the entire month of january reflecting on things going into what you really want your wishes hopes and desires there is something that you really really want to accomplish and 
I do hope that you take action though. Right now, I don't know if you are going to take action immediately, but I do sense that eventually though, you will take action. There is a lot of fear surrounding this energy. We do have the King of Cups over here, along with this Nine of Swords energy um, surrounding this energy, this, um, this, how do I call this? Like, you have an intention, but the energy surrounding it has some form of fear to it. So I don't know if you are being overwhelmed by your own feelings. Maybe you are becoming sensitive. Um, something is really making you emotional. So it could be that you're thinking about a certain relationship, a certain woman in your life, a certain partnership that is very important to you. that you want to progress with something that you really want to stabilize upon you know you want some form of mutual growth in that relationship right now though i can feel that what you need is a push to actually to actually take action and just do it because I kind of feel that some of you guys, for some reasons, just withdrawn to that person. Or maybe you are withdrawn to the world. It's like there is an energy here. Like you are somehow lost and you don't know what to do with your whole life. You know, not just relationships. You don't know what to do. Like you you have this idea in your head that this is what you want maybe you want to get married maybe you want to be in a relationship with a specific person in mind but you don't know how to get there you don't know the step-by-step -step process you don't know what to do especially if you're a man this can be quite complicated because in the traditional setup it is the man who initiates contact with the woman it's not as if not all the time that the woman is going to take action right so it might be complicated especially if the woman that you are in concern with is waiting for you so because i do feel here that someone is waiting we do have this uh queen of pentacles over here and the queen of cups surrounding this energy so if these queens are the type of people that are somehow passive they are the patient type of of women who who is willing to accept you for who you are regardless of your faults regardless of how imperfect you are they are willing to accept you and wait for you they are willing to stand by you all the way they are waiting for you they can be the type that you know um to get hurt you know i'm not being negative or anything like that but they have this tendency to to be that you know hopeless romantic of i want this true love i want my soulmate i want my twin flame so i'm gonna wait for this person to come around so this could be you or this could be the other person vice versa it can be in both ways so because i'm just picking up the energies but all i know is that there is someone who wants to put things forward but don't know how to make it all happen i do see here that you know something is about to happen in your life there is going to be some form of forward action something is about to start something is going to begin and you know eventually though the wheel is gonna turn everything is going to move forward but right now it feels as if things are at pause but it's that point where it, you are now starting your engine but 
you want to move forward but I don't know what is holding you back there is something holding you back definitely I just sense that there is something holding you back I just don't know what it is I just kind of feel that you know maybe the things that is holding you back your own fears is maybe not so relevant or maybe not related to the relationship itself maybe you have some form of loss of confidence or there's just a lot of fears surrounding your energy i do see here that the intention of um really wanting to to do something concrete you want to achieve something and the only thing that i can tell you guys right now is that i do see the new beginning i do see the venture and i do see some form of wish fulfillment coming in the only thing i don't see right now is the process of how is this going to happen so my advice is for you to take action and you know especially if you're the guy try to communicate try to connect with that person if you are wanting to move forward with that person stop deliberating and just thinking in your head and start taking action and do it especially we do have the third house over here which is the communication sector so start talking and start communicating i do see that there's going to be some form of communication coming in and exchange of energy between a man and a woman is going to be manifesting maybe at the end of january i don't know I just feel that the idea here is to connect with this person, talk to this person. So you are feeling this person. There is some form of love here, but with a lot of fears. And maybe you are, you know, just some form of complex issue is coming to the forefront of things. And maybe it can also feel as if that your emotions or someone's emotion is getting out of control because of what they truly feel about a certain relationship or a certain person like they have feelings for this person but they're not pursuing it so it's triggering a lot of things inside of them and sooner or later though you will be you will be taking action based not a, not with what your head is telling you but based upon your impulse because there is just so much forward energy here so i kind of feel that there is so many things in this reading that is somehow lacking because I'm not seeing the process of things. I'm not seeing the step by step on how are things going to occur. But all I can see here is that there's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be some form of achievement and something, some form of wishes and desires. And on another aspect, this could be a point wherein you are feeling overwhelmed with thoughts and desires about a particular person in your life and you might even spend the entire month just dreaming of wanting to be with someone even though you don't know how that will happen there is a mix of fears and a mix of happiness and hope to be with someone so yeah but I kind of feel that because of the movement of the cards, there are so many cards here that promotes 
travel and forward movement so i kind of feel that eventually though something is going to be set in motion for you guys something is going to be manifesting in terms of your love life and relationships that can you know um change everything you know if you are at the point of just desiring and wishing for things to happen right now i kind of feel that eventually you might see the conclusion where that is going to lead you where is that gonna lead the relationship situation so there is going to be clarity at the end of the day but right now i kind of feel that january might be a time where in you come into terms of what you are feeling and realizing that you are being overwhelmed with it you know overwhelmed with your own feelings with a particular person in your life there's just so much passion so much emotions and it can be overflowing and an another aspect this can make you f make you not so logical with your approach with life and um i do believe that venus is now in the sign of pisces as well so that is going to create some form of dreamy aspect into things wherein it can make your mind just go flutter around <laughs> with with your ideals with what you want to happen with what makes you happy those kinds of things and we also have um this was i believe this was a sagittarius earlier i don't know why it became capricorn but this was pluto in sagittarius in the third house so there there could be a tendency to um some poor form of powerful beliefs This could be a stubborn energy and this can also be some form of sudden search of communication of reaching out eventually can take place some form of positivity some form of thoughts could be coming into you in a very intuitive level of what you want to manifest and to bring into the future in terms of your relationships you are thinking of a particular person in your life definitely i do see that i just don't see like how you are going to get there i do see your dreams and hopes and how much you want to attain this and at the end of the day you are going to take the action that can fill in the gap of what you truly feel so you are going to take action based upon your feelings and based upon what you want based upon what will emotionally satisfy you as a whole so maybe some of you guys are just at the planning zone or some of you guys are just at the point where in okay i'm realizing how much i want this person And some of you guys, you know, you might be just imagining things, you know, spending a lot of time dreaming about your, your person. So, um, yeah, it could be a point wherein you might want to start afresh in terms of a relationship with someone. I do know that, you know, there is something here that wanting to move forward with someone so yes you do have fears there are fears that i'm seeing over here but you are going to 
overcome this and take action because at the end of the day it's like it might be very cliche but it's like saying that true love wins at the end of the day <laughs> there is that kind of energy <coughs> there's that kind of energy we're in you know this is what i want because this is what makes me happy this is a person that i truly want to be with despite that they are not the most caring person in the world or whatever and I'm not saying that you are in an abusive relationship or anything like that. I'm not seeing that at all. It might be possible for some of you guys. I'm just seeing that right now everything is very exaggerated for you in a very emotional way. Wherein it may not be the logical choice for other people. There's just so much dreaming energy that i'm picking up here and there's just so much romantic energy in your head and i don't know where this is going and i'm going to be honest with you guys i just see that there is going to be a moving forward phase there is going to be some form of wish fulfillment in the air a connection done with a particular person in your life where that goes is another story in line but for right now you are going to follow what you truly feel and right now that is what is important to you you have been um, so hard on yourself and right now I kind of feel that this is the time for you to be selfish and to follow what you want because it is something that you want it's not something that e you are taking action to to please someone else it's not like that this is about you following your own desires and your own feelings because that's what your heart is telling you which is you know a good thing it is a good thing to follow your heart and to be true to yourself it might just lead you to something that can really make you happy at the end of the day you might achieve something out of that this could also be a message we're in you might manifest something during this time so it is best that you know you dream or you visualize things that you want to 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 occur in your life especially in terms of your love life whether if you're single if you want to bring in a partner in your life if you want to be in a relationship or if you are already in a relationship or in a marriage situation if you want for things to progress in between the two of you and have a more harmonious connection a more loving type of energy i kind of feel that you know there is something that you can really bring to the world that can you know manifest into reality so you know think positively about that and you might just you know some form of magic in the air is possible for you to occur so um yeah there's just so much pisces energy into this reading to the point we're in there are just things that i don't know you know it's like I know the outcome and energy of the reading. I don't know how you guys get there. So um, yeah, just know that there could be strong manifestation energy for you guys. A lot of emotions are in place. What your heart is telling you is going to be a big thing. What your heart is feeling is going to be big. What makes you happy is going to be very important. And moving forward with your hopes, wishes, and desires is going to be something to work on as well. So let's see what is the advice card for Pisces.
for this month of January 2020 or in terms of their love life and relationship Pisces okay so we have this when that when I was um connecting as I picking as I was picking up this card, you know, I kind of feel that there was some form of stuck energy on my throat chakra. So, I don't know if that has any relation to this reading, but I kind of feel that, you know, it has it is that energy we're in. I wanted to say something, but for some reason something is being stopped right there. Like I am about to say something, but there's just something that I am unable to say, but I'm saying it anyway. So uh, that is a random channeled message that can resonate to somebody, probably, I don't know. So um, yeah, there is something that is really coming in for you guys, Pisces. I do believe in that. So your card is the you and your loved ones are safe. Now this is a really wonderful card because it is another card that really promises us that there is going to be something to be happy about. There is something, something is going to be happening in our life that can give us some form of fulfillment so it's like telling us to not be worried about our situation about your concern with a specific person in your life or with a partnership or a relationship things are not gonna be happening very fast <clears throat> things are not happening very fast it could be slow even but you are going to get there. You are going to attain that goal. You are going to make it all happen. And it is going to be happen. It will happen. So, and this is also the card that tells you to have faith into things and believe and believe that everything is going to be okay so even with our advice card it still has that tone of telling you to just to just to just trust the process and believe that something is going to be there for you something is going to start something is going to be manifesting i don't know if you guys can notice but my voice is somehow becoming shaky for some reason i don't know why <laughs> but um yeah there is that form of energy so believe in that i kind of feel that you know if ever things that is going to be happening for you are going to be slow and it's going to be in tiny bits and pieces someone may be taking their time to move forward with you or you might be taking your time to to move forward with things but things are definitely going to progress and something there is something that you can expect to happen for you at the end of the cycle you will understand something at the end. There is some form of acknowledgement or understanding that is going to be manifesting for you. Some form of healing is going to be happening for you as well into your situation. So I kind of feel that this may be a very specific reading and only those who are really connecting to this reading will probably understand the scope of this so um yeah definitely um i do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity i do apologize if may if it might sound confusing as a whole because there's a lot of very manifesting energies here and a lot of dreamy aspect into things 
but do you know that everything is going to work out just fine and magic can happen for you especially as the end of january occurs as well because they kind of feel that you know the process of how you get there might be can be complicated i have to admit but you will get there and that is the promise of what this reading is selling us it has this very spiritual approach but it also gives us a lot of hope and a lot of light into things so um yeah thank you guys for watching and joining in with me and i do hope that this reading somehow gives you insight and clarity into your situation and um yeah thank you guys and i'll see you again next month